Sometimes the most challenging opponent isn't some menacing enemy with a huge sword, but a line of tiny platforms over a bottomless pit. While 3D action adventure game Blue Fire seems to promise plenty of encounters with both, the brief 30 minute hands on demo I played left me wanting more and had me wishing it seemed just a little more variety in its fights. As the pint sized fighter Umbra, I was able to navigate the abandoned castle halls of a world called Penumbra with fun traversal options to avoid dangerous pitfalls. Figuring out the best configuration of platforming to get past an area became a fun puzzle in itself, like wall running to correct a near fatal mistake. Umbra's dash mechanic was equally enticing. Holding down the button gave me a lengthy boost, but letting go early would stop my momentum completely and became essential for making precise landings. Blue Fire's reverence to other action platformers like Hollow Knight may be laid on a bit thick at certain areas, but the way it handles its 3D exploration and hints at other unlockable goodies appears to do an admirable job at trying to set itself apart. One particularly prominent feature I explored was an optional isolated area called a void. It transported me to a sort of challenge room. Here I was tasked to hop my way across increasingly dangerous gaps to ruined platforms floating above an abyss. In these instances, quick camera positioning was just as important as accurately judging the length of jumps to make a correct landing. Failing a jump was punishing, but fair, and I was able to follow collectible breadcrumbs and other interesting loot before completing the area. I only wish I was able to spend some of the currency I was rewarded with on some of the exciting sounding upgrades that were sadly disabled for the demo. That disappointment was an unfortunate lingering presence, but only because this demo ended far too soon. Since I couldn't unlock upgrades or fight against anything but a few groups of basic enemies, I found myself restarting the demo just to get more chances to experiment. Umber can swing incredibly fast and hard, taking out most of these foes before they could do much in return, and I realized I was hardly paying attention to my character's stamina bar that was slowly depleting with each strike. I'd even go so far as to wonder if a stamina bar is even necessary in Blue Fire, and would have loved a bigger encounter to put that thought to the test. With the demo ending after an ominous cutscene, I was left feeling just a bit conflicted. I do like what I've played so far. Platforming feels fluid and precise, and there's a lot of potential for void zones to truly test your skills. Lock-on combat also feels like a great inclusion, but with so few enemies to fight against, it's hard to say how varied and challenging things will actually get, or if unlockable abilities and upgrades will make a worthwhile difference. So, while I'm certainly left with questions, I'm also eager to play more to get some answers. For more on somber looking action platformers, you can also check out 16 minutes of Hollow Knight's Silk Song gameplay. And for everything else, stick with IGN.